Okay, we are ready for our third step here in the finishing of a drywall joint. We've applied our tape, allowed it to dry, put our first finishing coat, and now we're ready for our second finishing coat of compound on this joint. To accomplish, accomplish this, we're going to use a 12 inch finishing knife. It's a very stiff knife and it's very sharp here. Now, before we start applying compound, what I like to do is take this knife and I like to take and place it perpendicular to the joint. And I look along this edge of the knife here and make sure that there's no gap. Now, as you can see, this is very level. Now, if I needed to fill more, I would see a depression here, or if I'd filled too much in previous steps, the knife would be out of way and it would rock on that joint. So this is very well filled, which tells me I only need, need to apply a very small amount of compound to this joint. So, to start, I already have my pan filled with compound. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to fill my knife by digging into this mud and scraping up and I like to, I see a few bumps in this compound so I'm going to mix this compound up a little bit to get it consistent by taking some off and putting it back on the other side. Now once I'm satisfied with the way the mud looks I'm going to dig in and I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to work my way across applying this compound and again same as before as I work my way across I'm going to flatten that knife out because the flatter the knife is the more com compound I'm able to apply so as that compound comes off the knife I need to flatten that knife out. Now that's probably all the compound I need so I'm going to start on this end again and just work my way across the center to get it evened out. Now I'm going to feather Feathering is when I hold one edge against the drywall and the upper edge is away. So I'm going to feather this all the way across. And I don't need more mud, so I'm going to feather again. Top edge of the knife is tight on the drywall. Bottom edge is held up a little bit. Work my way across here. And then one more time across the center of this joint to knock off any high spots. And I'm fairly well satisfied. When we're done, we want to be around 10 to 12 inches in overall width, and we are about there. So I'm satisfied with that joint. So what we'll do at this point is allow this compound to dry overnight. We'll come back and wet or dry sand as we need to.